to longitude and latitude. Let's look at this uh, question. It says that the two points A and B lie on latitude 40 degrees north, given that A is on longitude 20 degrees west and B is on longitude 100 degrees east. Find A, the distance along the parallel of latitude, then B, the shortest distance between A and B. So for this case, what we shall do, we shall come up with a globe. So we shall draw our globe like this way. So for that globe, we shall have these longitudes. Uh, then we shall have our latitude, which we will name this way. So we can call this one to be our point A. And this point A is 40 degrees north, then 20 degrees west. But then this will be our point B. This will be 40 degrees north and 100 degrees east. So once we have this one, and the first question that they want us to cover the distance along the parallel of latitude. So to get the distance along the parallel of latitude, we shall apply the formula. We say the distance, because this is the distance along the small circle, we can say distance is equal to theta over 3 to this thing, 2 pi r, I mean alpha over 3 to 2 pi r the cos of theta. So for this case, will be, this one will be the longitude difference. For this case, we have 20 and we have 100. So the longitude difference here will be equal to 20 plus 100, giving us what? 120 degrees. So we put it here and say it becomes 120 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 multiplied by 63, 70 cos 40. So when we multiply these values on our calculator, we shall be able to end up with 120 divided by 360 times 2 times 22 divided by 7 times 370 cos 40. So we shall end up with 10,224 kilometers. So that one will be the distance uh, along the parallel of latitude. Then B, they want us to calculate the shortest distance between points A and B. So the shortest distance between points A and B, this is what we shall do. We have these two points. Eh? These points and this one can be joined this way, like that. So the two points have, eh? the, the, the center of the two points, because they are found on a small circle, the center will be somewhere here. So let's say it is this way, like that. Then, the, the center of the great circle, let it be here, this, which is the equator, it can be somewhere there, like that, and this one will be this way. So, after getting this one, we know that the longitude difference there was the angle that we have to perform at this point. So that angle is what, 120 degrees. Then we shall have a perpendicular that we shall draw this way. So when we draw the perpendicular, this 120 degrees, Turns to be this one to be 60 degrees, and this one will also be 60 degrees because it will divide into the middle. So after that one, we now know that uh, the distance, the radius of the great circle, we already know it is 6370. 6370 kilometers. This one is the uh, radius of the great circle, which we are always given, but we don't have the radius of the small circle. So to get the radius of the small circle, R will be equal to R the cos of theta. So that this one becomes 6370 cos 40. So that this one will be able to give us 6370 cos 40. 6370 cos 40, this one gives us what? It becomes 48. 9.7 kilometers. So that one gives us what? The distance along the uh, small circle, which is the radius. The radius from this point to that one becomes that. So what we shall do, we shall calculate the length from this point to that. So we will do this. We have that. We have this, one. this one is 48, 79.7 kilometers. This angle here is 60 degrees. So we can be able to get that one. We can apply the sign. We can say now the sign of 
60 degrees is equal to opposite which is x over 4879.7 kilometers. So the value of x will simply be equal to 4879.7 multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees. So we can get the value of um, x here. So it will be the same as that is the 4879.7 multiplied by sine 60. So that this one gives us 4225.9 kilometers. So this one, this length from here to here is the same as what? This one now becomes 4225.9 kilometers. So after getting that one, you will see this length can as well be used by this one so that you get the angle along the great circle. So to get the angle along the great circle, you will now be required to do this. Now this one becomes the great circle. This length now becomes 60.70. We obtained this length is the same, so it will be 42, 25.9. So you can get the angle here on your printer. So to get this angle, we can still say the same thing. We say the sine of theta is equal to opposite, which is 42, 25.9 over 63.70. So that uh, this one gives us, uh, this one divided by 60, that one is 42, 25.9 divided by 63.70. We'll be able to end up with 0 0.66. Uh, three, four. So theta will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.6634. So theta will give us the sine inverse of that one to be 41.56 degrees. So once we get that one, because we know that at the center of the great circle here, it will have to move this one, so we have this angle and we have that. So to get the entire angle, we multiply by 2. So our angle will now be equal to 41.56 multiplied by 2. So that now we get, multiply by 2, we get 80.12 degrees. So we, we know that the shortest distance between any two points is that distance that is along the great circle. So therefore we say now distance is equal to 2. I mean, it becomes theta over the density pi r. We are not using the cost because we are moving along the equator. So this one now becomes equal to the angle is 83.12 over 360 multiplied by 22 over 7 or multiplied by 6370. So this one will be able to give us this value is uh, divided by 360 times. 22 divided by 7 multiplied by 6370. So that this one we are able to end up with it. Uh, yes, I mean, theta 3.12 divided by 360 times 22 divided by 7 times 6370 times 2. I mean, there was 2 here because the this one is too far, I mean, this one is too far, so multiply by 2 here. So that we end up with 92, 4, 4.79, which can be approximated to be equal to 92, 4.5 meters. So the distance along the great circle now becomes 9,245. Thank you for watching this clip.